Hello and welcome to day 12, the final day of Riding to Health's 12 Days of Christmas Tips. And today we're going to look at goal setting. Now I imagine you have already thought about New Year's resolutions and you may even have written some. We're going to look at a way that you can make your New Year's resolution even better, more specific, more goal orientated and you will be more likely to actually achieve your goal. So how do we do that? Now, first of all, you need to focus on what you will want get, what you will achieve, or what you do want. A lot of people often say, well, I don't want to be fat anymore, or I don't want to eat chocolate. That's a negative view, and we need to be positive and forward-looking, not negative and backwards-looking, like we've talked about in previous days on these videos. So, first of all, Make your target something you do want. What do you want, not what you don't want. Then you need to be 100% certain about this goal. If you're not, change it. You're in charge. You can set whatever goal you like. If you're not 100% certain about this and you don't 100% believe in your goal, then like we talked about on the focus tip, your focus will be on other things and not achieving the goal, which is wasted energy, which means you're less likely to achieve. So make your goal one that you're 100% certain you can manage and that you can achieve. Think about it like this. Firstly, if you're looking at this goal like a light bulb, you might be um, looking at the goal, but you've got all sorts of other things in your mind. If you're looking at this goal and imagine your view is a laser beam, you're 100% focused on the goal, all your energy is going towards that goal, nothing else matters. Light bulb versus laser beam. You want to be a laser beam. So this goal, whatever it is you've written already, you can now rephrase it, reframe it and make it a much more achievable, focused, specific goal. We're going to look at it as a SMART goal, but our SMART is slightly different to the usual analogy for SMART. So your first aspect of this goal it needs to be specific and it needs to be simple. And then it needs to be measurable and meaningful to you. So it has to be time related and it has to be meaningful to you not open-ended, what you do want, not you, what you don't want. A stands for as if now, achievable and in all areas of your life. Your goal must be friendly to your life. You can't suspend the rest of life in general in order to achieve this goal. You need to be realistic. Then you need to look at it like it is now. I am, the date is the 31st of July and I am whatever it is your goal is. I have, I am going to, I, I am doing. Make it as now. Project yourself forward to the target date for your goal and write it as if you are doing it right now. R stands for realistic, like we've said. You need to be realistic, you need to be responsible about this and it needs to be ecological. So think about yourself, think about your life in general and be realistic. If you are not 100% certain about this goal, then change it. Change it to something you are 100% certain about. We want you to be the best you can be. We want you to achieve your target, your goal. And the T is timed towards what you want. Not timed away from what you didn't want, timed towards the future. So when are you going to achieve this goal? Don't put other people in here. You can't focus on, you can't influence what other people do. So if there's any other people involved in this goal, you need to change it. You are 100% responsible for what you do and what you think. And that's what make, will make your goal much better. So S is specific, S is simple. M is measurable and meaningful. A is achievable as if now 
and in all areas of your life. R is realistic and responsible and T is timed towards what you do want. So now take a look at your goal if you've written one already and make it a SMART goal, an NLP SMART goal that you are actually going to achieve, you will. Good luck.